Hi, it's Megan, and I'm going to do a quick video, I just dropped something already, um, on the Wet n Wild, they're the Color Icon Summer Festival palettes. So I saw these at Walgreens, and these are limited edition, there are six of them, one second, um, and I love orange eyeshadow. So I, if I look funny, that's because I put it on one side, and I figured I would do the other side on camera, so I'm going to do that as I kind of describe the colors just because I think orange can be a little bit of an intimidating color and it's a color I just love so when I saw the six I got three these are list priced at $2.99 but at Walgreens they were I guess more than 25% off well about 25% off mine was $2.29 so these are $2.29 I got three of them and I may actually return the other two unopened I haven't decided yet it's always a judgment call. I have enough makeup now that I really don't need things at all. I have a hard time resisting orange. Um, these were okay. I have another Wet n Wild palette, palette, just a regular one I've been meaning to do a video on. I haven't done yet. I'm not in love with their eyeshadows. I think they're fine. I think for $2.29 they're a great deal. And I like the fact that it comes with brow, crease, and um, lid, which makes it easy. These are actually okay. So the first one is, they're not matte. I looked online. This one seems to be almost a matte, matte satin. And this is the first. It's like a bone. And you can see it goes on actually quite well. I like this shade. I think it's a really useful shade. It's a great color. Um, and it's creamy. It blends. The next one is the orange. And this I just put on the lid like this. And I need to use an eyeshadow primer. So you can see how great the color is with an eyeshadow primer. Without an eyeshadow primer, it really doesn't wear well. And it doesn't build up quite as much. So as long as you use an eyeshadow primer, it's a great shade. So I put too much on, so I'm going to blend a little bit out and put some of the bone back. And I wanted to do this just on camera because what I like to do with this palette, because I think the brown is pretty but it's hard to build up and I when I wear oranges I really don't like a lot of other color on my face so I just decided to show this whole look as I was talking about the palette see how that works you can see already maybe you can't but if I hold it up I don't want to hold it up all the way because it'll spill it's already kind of pattering up in the pan a little bit but the orange is a really pretty color and this is almost a matte too I'm, I can't tell if these are fully matte or like a slight matte satin um, I do have outdoor swatches. You'll see they're definitely not shimmery shades. So I took a coal liner by, it's called Crayon Coal. There are only two colors. This one's black coffee. I took that by Lancome. And because I wanted to not have too much other color on my face, because orange is kind of bright. Orange is great for brown eyes. It's great for blue eyes. I think it's great for green eyes too. It's really just a useful color, but it really makes blue eyes pop. But too much orange is just too much orange. And this is an orange crease color. So I already have mascara on. This is early morning. Not so early anymore. And I'm going to go to yoga soon. So I don't have quite as much foundation and stuff on as I usually do for a video. Um, but I lined the eyes with the coal eyeliner. And then with a coal eyeliner, sometimes I'll actually this blend the shadow in first with a coal eyeliner since it's a little bit softer. I like to blend it first, and I actually didn't put, I don't go all the way, it's too dark a look for me. But by doing this, I can create more of a smoky eye, well it's not fully smoky, but you can do a smoky eye, kind of a smokier, more dramatic look. And now I'm going to take the brown from the palette, and I'll swatch these on my wrist in a minute, but I do have the outdoor swatches. And then just blend some of the brown in, and this is a smoky eye brush. And what I'm doing now is just getting a softer line, and it's also going to wear better because, like I said, one thing I don't like about this palette is I don't find the wear time that great. The brown is great for a subtle crease look with the orange. It really does blend well. It's going right in my eyes. These are powdery. It's actually literally going in my eyes. If I start blinking, it's just that the shadows are so powdery. And I think the brown really softens the brightness of the orange, and then it adds a lot of depth in the crease. But you can't, I can't build it up super dark, which is why I needed the coal eyeliner. And I took the same brush and just put a little of the orange in here and all the way around. And since it's mixing in with the brown, it doesn't really matter if you use a clean brush, you can use the same brush. I brush my brushes after pretty much every use. Occasionally I'm in a rush and I don't get to it, but then I leave them on the counter and wash them after I 
next wash my brushes. So this is it. What I did is I did a bronzer. I actually did the Dolce & Gabbana bronzer in cashmere as a blush instead of blush because like I said too much color with orange is just too much color I don't like looking like a pumpkin and I lost the no I found it I don't like looking like a pumpkin so I did a bronzer and then I just did a light dusting of the Too Faced Peach Peach Sweethearts blush which is like a light shimmery shimmery kind of a thing it's almost like a highlighter blush really pretty and then I have Smashboxes uh, nylon nude on my lips and I'm gonna do a more orange one in a minute but let me do the swatches okay so this is the bone and this is probably my favorite color oh I've got pink on my wrist I was testing if something else stain and yes it does so uh, this doesn't wash off that easily I have to scrub it off it does stain so this is just a very light it's almost got like a orangey peachy undertone I really like this one shade but it is t dusty and powdery and you can blend it all away easily if you don't have an eyeshadow primer on the next one is also kind of powdery. This is just a very classic orange. Oh, see, if you see how it didn't apply so, that's how I applied it when I swiped it twice, actually. Um, it's really creamy in the pan, and once you kind of get it on, it's really pretty, but you just have to be a little bit more careful with the application because it is sort of powdery. It's a really pretty orange. It's like a medium light, true orange. Maybe it's a little bit of a peach undertone, but no, nah, true orange. And then the brown, again, a little powdery. See, just one swipe, you get that big kind of clump of powder. Um, and this is a warm brown. It's also got kind of an orange undertone to it. I think the colors really blend beautifully together. Uh, this is how they look on the eye, but I really like putting in uh, that eyeliner to get a slightly less um, in-your-face orange look on the lips. So to brighten up the lips a little bit and you might like this better I just I like the nylon nude and if I were to put more brown on my eyes I would definitely do the nylon nude this is a dose of color it's um angelic nude oh I thought I took a different one I wore this last night and I thought I took a different color but you can see how different just adding even a little bit more orange is. You need a lighter kind of, because I built up the eyes, you need, I need a lighter lip. Um, but now it's almost, almost too much orange for me. And I just don't like pinks with an orange eye. I, I really don't. I don't like any other kind of shade except anything that's kind of peach undertoned, orange undertoned, or better yet, the bronzer is a blush with a soft kind of highlight blush on top. This is the look, and overall, do I think these were worth $2.29? Like I said, I've got the other two colors. If anyone has any opinions, I've got the purple one, which is called No Scalpers Allowed, and this one, which is Lost My Wristband, the one I just showed you, I think I said, was Sunset to See, but I don't think I said that, actually, but it's in the title. I'm not sure if I'm going to use these or if I'm going to take them back. I I like the orange, but I don't, I guess, I guess I like the orange a lot, but I'm not thrilled with the quality of the Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette. And I guess I read some other reviews before doing this. Someone said that these were better than some of the past collections. But um, I'm not sure I'm going to wear them. So we'll see. You might see two more videos or you might not. I think that's it. Comments are welcome. Please subscribe on YouTube. Suggestions, thoughts on these other two. Um, and I'm doing a novel on YouTube called Masks, which is about makeup and the masks we wear. I'm putting it up chapter by chapter. So please check that out. Thanks. I'll put the links in the description.